Okay, unboxing something very new, hot from the oven or just arrived today. Let's see if this is what I think it is. So let's open it. Aha! Aha! Do you know what this is? Yes, I do. Wow, this is pretty heavy, I have to admit. Wow, this is nice. This is whole effect current sensor and voltage sensor. I don't know yet how to work with it. I, I just need two RTFM. But there are many wires here. So why do I need such a long wires? Don't ah just they give like this wire but uh, longer. Okay, nice, nice. Spare wire. And this is probably the voltage to to the batteries that you would like to check. And this is pretty fun and easy. You connect it to, to the battery and you move the current through the Hall effect and then you can measure. By the way, this Hall effect is up to 100 amps. This is a lot and very nice. Let's test it. So connected a uh, 12 volt from my power supply. It is showing of course current zero because there is no current through the whole effect. We will put current in another probe in a second. But if I supply 10 volt, I see it, it is not going below 11 volt something. 12 volt, you see it is lighting pretty good. And now I will put 20 volts and it is showing 20 volt pretty pretty well okay so the voltage is from 12 volt i think it is up till 60 let's put 32 volts this is the maximum of this channel you can see this is pretty accurate not very but plus minus uh, uh, in this case uh, 150 millivolt this is i think this is good enough for my needs so now I will now put current for this I will have to find how to do it so <clears throat> I'm using another channel for my power supply and I will put it on current limit and then uh, I will put uh, I will put a voltage and then I will limit it with, uh, with the current limit of, of uh, the instrument so let's do it. I will now plug this like this. Now I will do a short. I need to do a short in the power supply, of course, in order to, to be able... Uh, ah, why did it stop working? Maybe the contact on these wires are not very well. Okay, the contacts. <coughs> okay, now I'm doing a short in the other power supply. I will put a 5 volts, 100 milliamps, and uh, I will power it. Ah, why right, is stopping again? I need to maybe a connection here. I'm not. Ah, okay, okay. Of course, it stopped because I'm on the wrong channel. So now I will go to the second channel, 5 volt. 100 milliamps and I will power it on. It is not showing anything. Uh, let's put a uh, 1 amp. 1 amp you can see pretty accurate. I can put up to 3 amps so 2 amps 1.9 and 3 amps is the maximum we can. So 3 amps. So overall the current and the voltage are pretty well uh, calibrated. So overall I think I am pretty uh, satisfied. It will be good to my needs and a nice uh, 
nice toy, let's say. You can use it uh, if you have a, a electronics that uh, consume a lot of uh, power. You can move it. By the way, this is pretty heavy, the whole effect sensor, meaning it, it is built okay. There is a ferret and wires inside. And of course, an electronics that uh, translate the current uh, and to the reading here. Pretty nice. Again, I will put 1.2 amps to see how accurate it is. So it is showing 1.2. Okay, so that's all. I will put a link in the description. It's very easy to use it. There are uh, four connections here which I'm not sure for what they, they are, but as you can see you don't need them because you just apply a voltage to, to this wire it will measure the voltage that show it here if it is over 12 volt and up to 60 and the current wire with your power just put it uh, over the whole effect and, and you are done so overall very nice and that's all Hope this is helpful for anyone. Bye.